So we're going to change the color a little bit too. Uh, right, let's do that now. Window. Um, let's go to go to swatches. And the nice thing about Illustrator swatches is there are these ugly ones, but they have some really nice ones. So we come down to Open Swatch Library, and uh, you'll see that there are a lot of other things. There's earth tones and nature and metal and all of these things go together. They're pre-mixed to make you look good. And so go for it because I don't often look very good when I do this stuff. So I'm going to get rid of this. Oh, I just, there we go. So I'm going to select the black bars and we'll make them a color. Uh, make sure I have the line in front. I'm going to put the fill in front. And uh, let's go and make those a color. And uh, that's a little intense. I think we're going to go a little bit darker on that. Let's make that. And then we'll select the other one and maybe we'll make them like, you know, blue. Uh, I'm, such a, I'm such a nerd. I have to make that's better. I like that better. All right. So uh, now uh, maybe we'll select all of these. Uh, uh, this, these are my computer's acting up a little bit. It's, it's a little sluggish today. I'm going to select these lines. And now that I'm there, I'm going to click behind here. And we'll open up those earth tone colors again, and maybe we'll just pick a slightly lighter, more diffuse. Black is a little intense, so we'll we'll pick that. And um, the other thing I want to do is they're also very. You can't tell from here, uh, but they're very fat. This one point is awfully big for a, a rule. So I'm going to come down to half a point. Um, depends on where you're publishing this thing, of course, and you'll have to play with that sort of thing. But I know what I like, and I know what works for what I do. So here we have a, a graph. Now, now if I want to change the fonts, I can just select the whole thing and go Command T, Apple T, and I can just change the font. Let's say I wanted to make that, uh, you know, uh, a 15 point font, and I wanted to make it, you know, Arial. I can, I can just Arial. Well, I don't want any of that stuff, so we just want Arial. And it doesn't, it, or it just changed them. I don't know if you caught that, but it, they changed, the, it all, can only change fonts. So that's all, that's all that it, that change, that'll, that'll change. So I'm going to go ahead and now I'm going to just very quickly uh, grab this, grab a title here and say fruit prices at my market. Um, I can double click that and come up to type. And uh, change case to sentence case because I or title case because I totally didn't do that right. And I can also make it make it oops wrong wrong tool. Make this a lot bigger. Let's go. Uh, how about thirty point? See how that looks. And we'll make that bold. And we'll slide that down into there. Now these guys are a little hokey looking. These are too big. So I'm going to select the top the top of each one of these and then the bottom of each one. Oh, I didn't select that one. Let's just move that up. And I would be a lot more careful if this was for, uh, for a job. Make it look really nice. And uh, now what I'm going to do is uh, put uh, price per pound. That's a little big. So let's just go ahead and, and eyedropper that font, but we'll make this bold. And... And there we go, make that bold. And we'll stick this maybe right in there. And we could take all of this if we want. Oops, I didn't want to grab those bars. Oh, yeah, there, I have to use the direct selection arrow because those are grouped with the bars down below. So I'm just going to grab these guys with a white arrow, maybe slide them down a little bit to save a little room in our graph. You can play with it. You know, there are no real rules for this stuff. Um, what, last thing I'm going to do is put some text in here. Maybe we'll just say, uh, now is the time for all good people. I won't write the whole thing. Command A, Command C, and let's actually uh, go ahead and... My computer is a bit sluggish today. There we go. And uh, we'll go ahead and add, just paste some more text in there to uh, make it look like a subhead. Maybe make it not bold, and then we are done just about oh no I do want to put a background here and you can you can add, you can come in and put a you know I think it's probably a good idea to flush this left with with the, with the numbers here I would be much more careful I would be grabbing these guys going here and then coming up to uh, 
window align and uh, just left. But my computer is just a little sluggish, so I just want to be careful of that. And then if we want to put a box in the background, we just simply um, do that. We just grab this and draw a box and an object arrangement sent it back. Of course, you can put all of this on layers and it'll probably look probably be better depending, especially if you're importing it into Flash. You want to have everything on layers. Here's that earth tone again. I'm going to make this a very light background color. Oop, that was my rule. Let me just change that so that it's uh, there. Now that's still a little bright, so what I'm going to do is come over here and make that a little bit lighter. And close all these guys down. Now, um, if, if you did want to, if you did have to re resize this, like for example, let's say the size changes, and you've got this all done, you can just crush this into a space. So we'll zoom in on this. And one of the one of the things about that is now all my fonts are messed up, and it's just a, it's horrible. Don't ever mess with fonts if you can avoid it. But um, don't know, not if you can avoid it. Just don't ever mess with fonts. <laughs> Use them as they were designed to be used. So, but still, I can come in here and hit Apple T, and you can see this is at 136 right here. This should be 100. That's the stretch factor. We just hit 100%. Uh, now all the fonts have snapped back to where they were. Now they may be a bit small, so you you can go in here and adjust the size of your fonts and that sort of thing so that it's legible depending on where where you're doing that. So. It's pretty easy to 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 make to resize this thing to fit anywhere you want. Anyway, that's a that's pretty much how to make a chart, and I hope it uh, it helps you. Thank you very much, Carl Gude, signing out.